do you know that there are steps or process to hack everything you want? Today in this video I am going to show you 6 processes of hacking every hacker use in everyday life when they attack, so if you want to be hacker you have to look at this video until the end. Let's go! The first step in hacking is Reconnaissance in action One of the most important things that hackers do when they decide to attack a system is to gather as much data as possible about it. Think in the following way. When you want to go for a holiday in a place, country where you have not been, what are you doing? Most likely, you do homework. You mean you're interested in that location. You are looking for different things on Google. In other words, you inform yourself about your target. Exactly through this process a hacker passes when he decides to attack a system. There are different ways you can learn more about a site, server, one of the simplest methods is to search Google for information about it. With a simple command like ns lookup, you can find out with the IP address of a site. And with the whois command you can find out more about that domain. The term reconnaissance or information gathering comes from the idea of researching, informing you about a particular topic before moving on to action. In short, basically it means documenting before the action. The second step or process is scanning. The next step in the hacking process is scanning. Once a hacker has more information about his target, he will begin to learn more. And how will he do that? Using a variety of tools such as Nmap to scan networks, servers, and provide clearer information about network topology, used equipment, operating system, and more. Why are they important? Why is it important for a hacker to know if a particular web server is running on Windows or Linux? Because once it has this information it can go further with a little research on Google to discover some existing vulnerabilities and try to take advantage of them in order to gain access to that system. The third step or process is gaining access to the system. Having done the themes done research, scanned networks, servers, learned information from different sources, Google, Facebook, forums, about the target, the hacker can start the attack. The attack should be very well thought to be in stealth mode without triggering alarms and, if possible, without generating too many logs. There are a lot of tools such as Burp Suite, SQL Map, Metasploit, etc. that can be used to generate a cyber attack. Everything depends on technology and objective. Getting access can be done in several ways and from several points of view. Getting root access on a Linux server. Obtain access to a site's administration panel. Obtaining access to a particular network equipment such as router, firewall, switch, etc. Get access to a network's end device such as smartphone, tablet, laptop, etc. Once the hacker has access to one of the items listed earlier, he is infiltrated into the network and can get a lot of information about the organization. The fourth step or process is Maintain access Once in the network, hacker has the option of retaining access. In many situations when different servers of major companies such as Yahoo, Google, Microsoft, etc. have been broken, hackers have always left open doors to get back into the system. These wickets are called backdoor and are intentionally left by hackers or even by the software developers of any applications that you and I use day by day to have access later in the system. So, they can constantly extract data, track what's happening in organizations, hold back control, and then do something with these data usually they are sold on the black market on the deep web. The fifth step or process is covering tracks. This is a very important process the trace coverage feature, a process that many hackers especially those who are at the beginning of the road omit it. They are simply not mindful or aware of covering their tracks and getting caught in the US by the FBI, CIA or the NSA and punished in court for their deeds. I repeat that unauthorized access to a system can lead to serious criminal consequences. Confiscation of computer goods such as laptops, external hard drives, etc. Placing under supervision. The last step or process is reporting. Another very important step, especially in the ethical hacking process, is reporting. The step in which hacker generates a report on the vulnerabilities found and exploited, the ways in which they can be corrected, and other information that will lead to solve and secure the system. 
This video resource is from Hacking with Kali Linux, the practical beginner's guide to learn how to hack with Kali Linux. Thank you for watching until the end and don't forget like, comment, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon, because from today I will post one video per day so subscribe, to don't miss you best hacking videos every day to you. Thank you and see you tomorrow.